News 3 starts right now. All my seven brothels, what we do is we sell the adventure. Because sometimes the travel is as good as the destination. It's not just sex. You, you have to make it fun. Brothel owner Dennis Hoff, a champion for the oldest profession in the world, sitting down with me there just three years ago. And tonight, people are talking about their memories of the brothel boss who has passed away at the age of 72. Hoff found out one of his infamous brothels about six hours ago, just before he was expected to debate opponents in his bid to be a state lawmaker. News 3's Antonio Castellan is live out in Pahrump with uh, what he's hearing about Dennis Hoff. Jim, we saw many teary-eyed workers here at the Love Ranch in disbelief. Dennis Hoff was found dead right in his suite, right over there past those palm trees. Porn star Ron Jeremy discovered his body. Nye County Sheriff Deputy shortly after one this afternoon put the body of brothel owner, reality star Dennis Hoff inside a coroner van. Famed porn star Ron Jeremy made the discovery of Hoff's body around 11 this morning after Dennis did not show up for a community gathering. He's not showing up, and Dennis and I have been in, around the world together, and he's very responsible. If he's at a gig, he's gonna show up at the gig. And now, it's, time's going by, and it's really uncomfortably going by. That Ron Jeremy says the night before, he and Dennis celebrated his 72nd birthday and were involved in a political rally for his bid for the Nevada State Assembly. Jeremy says the two partied till about midnight, and that's when Dennis spent the night with a woman named Dasha. Dasha told Jeremy Dennis was still alive when she left him. Jeremy says he won't forget Dennis lying in his bed in his suite. Three things got me. And one was his eyes were at half, were not full. His eyes were like half-masked. His skin felt a little cold. And then uh, when I tried to move his arm gently, it wouldn't go. One time, Madame Heidi Fleiss remembers the last time seeing Dennis this weekend at his house. We just talked as friends about plans of the future. He must Some have, uh, mistakes we've made. And Ron Jeremy and Heidi Fleiss say Hoff was the absolute best friend. He was so good to his friends. He was, and he was like a, a really, uh, it sounds weird saying it, he was a teddy bear. You know, he just a really warm, friendly, cuddly, sweet guy. The Knight County Sheriff's Office does not suspect foul play. The, the Clark County coroner will determine his cause of death. Uh, Hoff has faced allegations of, of sexual assault and the threat of losing his, his brothels. Heidi Fleiss uh, talked uh, about that. She says the thing that uh, may have stressed him out was his run for state assembly. She says despite all that, Hoff was already speaking of running for governor one day. Reporting live in Crystal, Nevada, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Antonio, thank you. And News 3 is watching the impact of Hoff's passing. The so-called Trump from Pahrump was supposed to appear at a Nye County debate. It was set for tonight. What will this mean for the state race and the future of legalized prostitution in Nevada? Those updates as they come in on News3LV.com.